Hey everyone, I'm Michael back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to work with colors and power apps, specifically using the color formula, color fade, color value, and RGBA formulas. If you enjoy power apps, power automate, team, SharePoint, and power BI videos, feel free to subscribe because I'll be putting out more videos in those areas. So let's get into the video. We are working with the working with colors. All right, so first. I'm going to insert a rectangle because I just want to demonstrate the colors working with and some of the formulas. So I have a new screen, just a regular rectangle. You can go to insert and uh, rectangle will be under popular. If not, you can just search for rectangle and it's under shapes. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to the fill property on the left hand side and as you can see, we have RGBA already for this blue color. So that's red, green, blue, and I believe it's alpha. So this is the red property. This is the green property. This is the blue property, and this is the alpha property. And you can switch up the values to switch up the color. So I go to this website called www.color-hex.com. I'm just going to click on one of these colors. And as you can see, the RGB value is 161, 255, 207. So if we go back to Power Apps and paste this, now you can see the color matches that color. So that's how you get those numbers for the RGBA. And this one at the end for the uh, alpha value, this is pretty much the opacity. So if I set this to 0.5, it's gonna be half of the color if I set it to 0.2. It fades even more if I set it to 0.1, it's very not visible. If I set it to 0.9, uh, it's a little dim. But if I set it to 1, it'll show the full color. So that's how you use RGBA. And if you don't want to do that, you can also use color. So color dot will give you a bunch of other colors you can choose from. So in Power Apps, there's like a ton of colors you can choose. So if I want to do colors, Dot dark khaki it displays that if I want to do color dot aqua it displays that and for all those colors I'll put this in the description down below if you go on the power apps documentation it has all the built-in colors right here so you can scroll down this list see which color you want to work with so let's say I want to do lawn green it shows the color value here there's a it shows the color value here, the RGBA, and you can also do color value. So let's do color dot long green. And long green displays. All right, so we did RGBA color, and now you can do color value. So you can insert the text color in a string. So if I did green, It'll display green if I did lawn green. It'll display lawn green. So any of these, so light blue. It'll display light blue. And also, you can also use the six digit hex notation. So let's go back into color hex and I will choose a random color. Let's do this little purple color. So if I did the hex notation, this is the hex code right here with the backslash. So if I did the backslash in here with the hex code, it will actually change to that color. And that's how you would put the hex code in the color value. Uh, it really all depends which formula you want to use. So let's go ahead and do the last formula, color fade. So color fade will take in a color and then fade it depending on what percentage you set it to. So for the color, so I have color fade. So it wants a color. So I can do color. Uh, we'll do aqua again. And if I did fade, so the percentage of which color would be faded by. Negative percentage produces a darker shade. Positive percentage produces a lighter shade. So if I did 0.5, it shows aqua. If I did 1, it doesn't really show anything since it's all fit. So 0.5. If I did zero, it's going to show the full color. 
let's try negative value. So if I did like negative 0 0.1, 25. So it gets darker. So depending on what you set it as. So it seems like zero is the balance. So zero is the color and then you can fade it to get even darker by setting it to negative. So if I did negative 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, it gets all the way down to black. If I did it the other way, it will go all the way fading to transparent. So yeah, so that's how you would do a color fade. You can also do the other formulas we talked about. So I can do RGBA and then insert the color values. So let me copy this. And let's close up the RGBA function and set this to zero. So now I have that purple in there. I can do 0 0.2, 0 0.6, 0 0.4. And then if I wanted to do color value, you can also do that formula as well. So I can do green. And we will just set this to 0.2. I set it to zero, it's just green. So that's basically all the color formulas and power apps. Most of the time you, you'll just do like your company's colors or just color dot and you pick from the list which color you want. So if I want to do light coral, that looks nice. You can do that. So let's just do this in like a test case. So let's say depending on what the user chooses, it will change the background color. So let's go ahead and do a Pebble box. And it looks like, which data? I have the employee data hooked up to this so we can do choices, employee data, and search checks would be, let's put the column in. So employee data will do job title okay so it's showing all the job titles so here is my sharepoint list so we have all the different job titles so if the user chooses a job title should change the background of this but let's go ahead and change the rectangle and we will do a x label here so i want to display the combo box one dot selected dot value so what of our whatever i select here is going to be displayed in that combo box so let's make this font a little bit bigger and we'll make it bold and we will center it so i want to change the background of this label depending on what is selected in the combo box so let's go ahead and go to the fill property and as you can see, it's just RGBA. So let's um, clear. I set this to one black. Once it's zero, it's going to be white or I, I think that's white. All right, so let's do an if statement. So if we'll do is blank combo box one dot selected value. So what if whatever is Actually, it should just be combo box dot selected. So if this is blank, if the combo box one dot selected is blank, so if nothing selected, we want to do the RG PA 0, 0, 0, 0, because that will give us white. Or we can even say just white. So color dot white. If not, we can do if combo box one dot selected dot value equals to data analysis. Then we want to display, we'll do color dot light coral. Close up your parentheses and there you go. So if I deselect this, it's gonna be white. 
So if I choose data analysis, it will be like Coral. So let me just add another if statement. Probably better do a switch right here, but um, I already started doing the if statement, so we'll just keep going with it. So we got the double ifs here. So if nothing is selected, it's going to be white or else it will be another if statement. So if, if this is selected, it's going to be light coral. If it's not that, we want to do another if statement. So if combo box one dot selected dot value equals to software developer, we can do color dot we'll do the long green because i thought that one looked cool and we just got to close up with the brackets so it looks like it's all closed up so if we select software developer it is now long green so if you have like a data table so something like this and you want the different job titles to be displayed depending on what's in the box you can go ahead and change the fill property with You'll probably want to use a switch statement or an if statement. Uh, the if statements get kind of long. People have a ton of properties, but uh, you can make it look really cool. I've done that for a few projects. So that will be a short little video about colors in Power Apps using the different formulas. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe, like, and comment. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment, and I will catch you in the next video.